What do you see as Washington's role in making sure our students are getting an education which prepares them for both career and college and makes them competitive in a global job market? I don't believe that the federal government should even have a place in education. Uh, I think that we ought to dissolve the Department of Education. I frankly don't want to send my dollars to Washington and have them tell us here in the state of Tennessee what's good for our students. Education is best when it's closest to the parent and the student. And that's where we need to keep education. And I'm also for parents being very involved, and we need to do all kinds of things to continue to encourage parents to be involved. As a matter of fact, this last year when uh, race to the top, and I won't talk about all the parts of it, but one of the parts that uh, we did do was to ask the teachers would be held accountable for the grades. And many teachers said to me, well, Diane, that's not exactly fair to do because students aren't taking the test seriously. And parents aren't taking the test seriously. And so you can't just ask parents to do it and not ask the students, or excuse me, teachers to do it, not ask the parents and the students. And so here in the state of Tennessee, we were able to pass a law to say, these tests will be now more um, valuable for the parents and the students because your scores will count. Your scores will count on your final grade. And so now parents will tell children, do the best job you can do. And children will be told by their parents, you better do the best job you can do. You see, that's not something that needed to come down from Washington. We could solve that right here at the state level. So I believe that education needs to be closest to the parents and closest to our local educators as we can possibly get them. One thing I'll say is that I'm a product of our public school system in the state of Tennessee. You know, I went to elementary school and graduated from Gallatin High School, went on to the University of Tennessee, and then had a one fellow degree from the University of Memphis. So I am a product of, of what our school system can be. And, and, and one thing I'll say is, is that I talk as I talk to teachers across this district, they don't tell me, hey, we need more money, although I'm sure you know they would like more money. But what they say is, is we want students who come to class, who are well fed who have had rest the night before. And, and if you can give us students who are ready to learn, we can teach them. Now, how do I deal with that in sitting in Washington? Now, I, I'm not sitting, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I'm going to go to Washington and I'm going to come up with a grand new education plan that's going to tell teachers in Tennessee how they can teach. What do I do, though, is, is I focus on making sure that we get our economy moving again. That's where I'm going to be focused in, on Washington. Because right now there are families that are across this county, across this district, that are in survival mode. And so we can point fingers at the, at the parents, but we've got to make sure that we create jobs and we get our economy going. And so they've got time, they've got the resources to raise their family the way they want to raise their family. Because right now they don't, they're just completely trying to struggle just to make it to get by. I've got three kids. I know how hard it is to get them in bed at night. I know how hard it is to do all the things that we expect the parents. And so as a as a legislator, what I'm going to do is, is make sure that I focus on the economy. I don't lose sight of that. I create opportunities, hopefully, to where we can get people working again and so they can get out of survival mode. And then they can start focusing on making sure they've got the time to do the things that they